Hello, Dan Andokovsky here from howtomechatronics.com. In this video, we will take a look at the easy EDA free online software for creating circuit schematics, designing PCBs, as well as simulating electronic circuits. As an example, we will create a typical circuit schematic of an audio amplifier. So, once we create the free account and login, we are ready to create our first project. After we click the new schematic button, a blank work area will appear and we can start adding components. The components are located on the left side of the screen and the Easy EDA library has most of the basic electronics components. For this example, we need few resistors and capacitors, a potentiometer and a LM386 audio amplifier IC which actually isn't included in the Easy EDA library. However, this is not a problem because we can either create our own symbol for it or using the design sharing concept of Easy EDA, we can find the component online. This sharing concept is quite good and it allows users to find particular components as well as complete circuit schematics of various electronic systems which has previously been shared by other users. Nevertheless, once we got all the components and set their particular values, using the wiring tool we will connect all the components and complete the circuit schematic. At this point, using the export feature, we can export the circuit schematic as an image, PDF or SVG file. Next, let's take a look at the process of making a PCB out of the circuit schematic. For that, we just have to click the convert project to PCB button and we will enter into the PCB design work area. The components are automatically loaded as well as the board layout. Here, first I will increase the board area and then I will arrange the components on the board. Using the tracking tool, I will connect all the components. The tracking tool is uh, quite intuitive and easy to work with and you can use it on both top and bottom layer. While designing the board, you can click on the photo view button to check how the board would look like. After finishing the PCB design, you can either export the design to an image, PDF or SVG file or use the fabrication output feature of the software. With this feature, you can download the Gerber files for the board and what's more and what I find particularly interesting is the possibility to order the PCB design to be fabricated by the Easy EDA. You can choose various properties like the PCB color, thickness, quantities and so on and all of that comes at a quite reasonable price. The next thing that we will take a look at is the simulation possibilities of the Easy EDA. As an example, I will simulate a transistor based Schmidt trigger. In one of my previous tutorials, I have already explained how this circuit schematic works and I tested it on a breadboard. Now, using the Easy EDA simulation, I got the same results. Before running the simulation, we need to attach two voltage probes to the circuit schematic, one at the input and one at the output. Then, we will click the Run Project button and a configuration window will appear where we can set some parameters. Once we click the Run button, we will get the results on a graph. Here we can see the sign input which range from 0 to 5 volts and the square output which goes high at about 1.9 volts and low at about 1.3 volts, same values as the one I got on the breadboard test. So that would be all for this brief review of the Easy EDA free online software. Overall the software is quite good and easy to work with. And what I like most about it is the fabrication output feature which allows you to order and have your PCB designs fabricated. Thanks for watching and for more tutorials and projects visit my official website.